Hello YouTubers and welcome to Aki's Kitchen. Today I will show you how to make carbonara. Carbonara is the most easy spaghetti you can make at home. In less than 10 minutes the carbonara will be ready. Just follow my instructions and let's start with the bacon. Okay, I have a very nice piece of bacon here. Cut big pieces. I have a non-stick pan on heat and I will add two tablespoons of olive oil and my lovely bacon or panceta. I want to make it crispy. The crispier, the tastier. I have a pan here uh, with boiling water. I will add some salt and of course my linguine. Ta -da! It is amazing how simple it is to make it and how tasty it is at the end of the day. So stir a little bit the linguine and let's carry on with the carbonara. I have my yolks, I will add them to the bowl. Normally in carbonara we add no cream, but if you add some cream inside the yolks then you will give more lifetime to the carbonara, at least 10 to 20 minutes. That's why I'm adding the cream. Now, I want a ladle full of the boiling water from the pasta. Stir very well and add salt, pepper, a good pinch of garlic powder and stir again. Now, add the parmesan and any herbs you like. Here I have some lovely basil. Again, normally in carbonara there is no basil, but if you add some basil, then the carbonara will become more tasty. A bit of parsley to give some nice green color to the pasta. Perfect. Inside this goes Mix it very well. And let's check our pasta. My pasta should be ready by now. It's hot. Al dente. So it's time to finish this lovely linguine. All the time I'm calling it spaghetti, I don't know why. It's linguine. Normally in carbonara we add again uh, all the spaghetti or the linguine uh, back to the pan. But if you add it back to the pan, you have to serve it again immediately. Now I will show you a nice trick. Drain your pasta. And when you drain your pasta and it's still hot, immediately inside a lovely sauce and the bacon. And now you have to mix everything together for at least two to three minutes. We need to pasteurize the egg yolks and we need to cook through the sauce. And the heat from the linguine is enough to do that. This is the perfect consistency for a carbonara. And I have a lovely plate here. I told you that in less than 10 minutes your carbonara will be ready. And I never lie. Look at this. And because of the cream, we can keep the carbonara uh, for a long time, more than 20 minutes that I told you before. We can even put it back in the fridge and reheat it. I need to add some lovely bacon. I don't know why I'm always add some rocket to my pasta. I love rocket with the pasta. Of course, a bit of extra virgin Greek olive oil. Of course, some freshly ground pepper. Parmesan to the top. And tell me, really, who can resist in that beauty? I will try from the big bowl. Uh, before this uh, goes inside my mouth, I have to tell you too, subscribe to my channel, make comments underneath the video and share this lovely bit video with your friends. See you next time. Bye bye. Carbonara. Yasas. Yes,